welcome to episode 38 of Talk Through Clearances with me, Simon. So this clearance is going to be the last one I'm going to do whilst I'm away on, on holiday. Um, so let's make it count. So I think I'm going to be going red just by the initial look of the table. Um, first yellow, don't really have a first yellow, so I've got to go reds here. And I'm going to get rid of this red over the corner first. So from there, I'll see what I'm left with. I might have a shot on this one. I'll definitely have a shot on this. I might even have a shot on this, which will be obviously kind of the safest out of all of those parts, but we'll see what we're left with after this shot. So I'm on that one that I thought I would be. I'm on this one. Do I want to take that now? Hmm. Possibly, I think. It leads to a little bit more control if I play this. I'm naturally kind of going into the red. If I don't go into the red, I'm kind of flying up table. Just lose a little bit of control there. Um, so what I'm going to play is this one. I'm going to come off of this cushion to here, play this one. And if I can land here, that would be perfect because then I'd have a choice of two, this one or this one. But likelihood is I'll play this one first get back to here, play this one second, or this one fourth, as it were. Uh, this will then be fifth to here, sixth, and then leave the white where the red is, and just have a nice easy black to the corner. So let's see how that goes. I want to get a bounce off that, which I've got, and now I should be able to leave myself in this position. Um, again, bottom, a little bit of backspin on this. So nice and controlled, and I've got a shot on both, both of these that I thought I would, but I'm definitely not going to play that one now. Play this, screw back, and I want to be basically two inches back from where the white is now, roughly. Okay, pretty straight on this one, which is fine. Need to leave a good angle on this to be able to get back for the one in the middle. That's the only issue here. It's the only thing that could go wrong. I'm actually gonna, basically, if I leave the cue ball here, which is the only, if I avoid this red, the best place I could leave the cue ball is here, which is kind of dead straight on that. And then the angle that I've got on this red, this last red, will be moving me away from the black, which this angle isn't too bad, I'd land end here. But if I were to play this and say I end up here, and you can see that the further over to the right I am on this ball, the further away from this red I'm getting. So with this angle, I'd have to come up and down. And if I misjudge that and I end up here, then I've got, I mean, I've still got a makeable black, but if I leave the cue ball here, I've got a difficult black. If I come over here, I've got a difficult black. So what I'm gonna do is just run through slightly and just tap this red. I'm gonna move this red about that far, move it to there, because then I know I'm left leaving the cue ball where roughly this red is. So leaving it here, then leaving it here for a, a dead straight red to then leave the black, easy black in the corner. So it just requires me to just run through with a little bit of topspin and just tap this red. So now you can see the angle that I've got on this red, I can now play to here, play that red and end up with the cue ball here, which is a lot closer to the work. Not, it's, it's almost too close, but I would much prefer a shot on the black here than had I not played that shot and ended up with, say, a shot in three shots time, ended up with this on the black. So let's run this through. I can actually make this even easier. Run off the cushion and come to about here. Now I can just play this into the right side of the pocket and just leave the cue ball where the red is roughly. And 
then it's a dead straight black. Much easier than if I was it in the position on the cushion. Cool, so that is episode 38 done. Um, again, I've finished my holiday now, so I'll be back on lives from Tuesday the 12th, and then I'll be up in Blackpool for the charity fundraiser on uh, Friday the 15th, so in three days' time. So yeah, be sure to tune in to the next live. Thanks for watching these videos whilst I've been away, and I appreciate your patience, obviously, with me not being live. But yeah, have a great day, and I will see you all soon.